What's going on, legends? Yes, we're out again, and this one is the Kingston Fishing Comp. This is the 23 we did last year, me and the partner, and didn't do too great. We couldn't get a spot. So we came down here late last night, and we still couldn't get a spot. We drove up and down the beach and up and down the beach, but the entrance was clear, and I've seen fish caught here when I've come here before. I came here a few weeks ago, and check this clip out. Can you put, oh yeah, go on. Fuck yeah, boys. We're on here. Straight in. Lovely. Work, That's fellas. nice. That and yeah, that was when we were just rocking up, finding a spot, and the guys had caught one just in front of us. So yeah, we're, I reckon we're going to stick with this spot. We may try and explore a little bit today. But yeah, fingers crossed we get a fish. Special shout out to Jed from BCF. He's been an absolute champion and given us all his bait he had in the freezer. I was pretty desperate. And there was a bloke on the jetty. I think his name was Anthony. I told him the score a few days ago and he actually was kind enough to give me his fresh squid he caught off the Brighton jetty. So shout out to all the legends out there. But yeah, let's start catching some fish. I've just put a couple of rods out, some fresh squid on. Ben's flicking for some salmon. But yeah, come on, let's go. get real windy over the next two days. Bloody was windy last night. But that's Salt Creek for ya. Reel my rod in, and I got a double header. One on each hook. It's not the rig for it, but yeah. So we're gonna use them as fresh baits. So they're a little bit smaller, I would go liveys. But let's get some baits in the water. I've just filleted that salmon. That's what we're going with. Right. Turned out to be a ripper morning. Last night was so windy. But yeah, the wind is meant to pick back up. Fishing pretty hard this morning, checking baits every 20 minutes, and unfortunately, other than one nice little uh, hit when I got to the rod, nothing. Um, yeah, we have not had too much, but yeah, we've created a nice little bit of shelter. It's windy as the wind's already picking up, but it's not as bad as last night. But yeah, you can't hear me now. Rip the day for it though. Running with four rods, most of them panagnostic rig. Benny boy is going with four bait, and I'm going with fresh bait. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. This spot tends to go all right on pillies and, and sourries and stuff like that, but never really any, you know, big ones. So yeah, hopefully we get the bigger ones and a bit more action on the, the four bait. Come on, come on, come on. He's a big boy, eh? Yeah, I don't want to beat him up. He's fat. Hello, mate. Let's remove him off the road. Pick him up, you pussy. You said you picked him up before. <laughs> Oh, I just chat. <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> Mad man. I don't know what they're called, but they're similar to a blue tongue. Um, I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, let's go and sort these permits out. Hi 
conf has officially started. Two o'clock. Kurong National Park, Kingston Fishing Cup. Let's catch a fish. Come on. Even a decent sambo. Sam um, salmon. Um, I'm gonna uh, yeah put it in. Um, an illegal mulloway will uh, put it in as well. I've never actually kept a mulloway before. I've caught quite a few, quite a few legal ones, but I've always released it. And I don't understand why there isn't more catch and release competitions. But yeah, this one isn't. And if we do get a mulloway, I will be keeping it. We'll be trying it. The family will be eating it and enjoying it. Really bloody windy. Yeah. But it's all right, camp's holding up. Nothing yet. We're not going off fresh as the fresh baits yet. Not yet, going through the squid. Check them every 20 minutes. The sinkers are holding, it's blowing a gale. But this is what Salt Creek's all about. Living. No, I'm not. It's not his rod, bro. Stop shouting at his rod. Which one is it? This is where we're at. So I'm gonna boil this first because someone left the pan at home. So we're gonna do the pasta in here first, which is stupid in the first place. With extra sand. It just smells you... like gas in here, right? Yeah, it's lit. So with extra sand, obviously. So then we'll drain that out when it's half done. Then I'll put the beef in there, the onion, and extra sand again. And, and then, um, yeah, we'll see where we're at then. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this to a boil first. All right, so we're getting somewhere and the pasta's cooking in the frying pan. I'll just drop the onion in the sand. And the tomato needs bloody wiping every two seconds. So we don't want extra, extra with the extra sand. But yeah, and we're gonna cook up the mince afterwards and we'll throw everything in the same pan. And I've got some sauce. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get something that's edible. Oh, that just landed on my foot. Oh, <laughs> it's all going on. Oh, it's real hot. Fuck that. You have to take that. Oh, you have to fry the onion off. Yeah, fuck. Shit, just burnt the shit out of the car. Okay. Ow! No way, bro! <laughs> what is going on? I didn't lose any. Oh, I lost a little bit, bro. Shit, I can't have that happen again. We can't lose more pasta. That could almost go in, a, in the pan now. We've lost a bit. Oh, yeah, that'll go in there. Ripper. Alright. 
throw that in there. Throw that in there too. Not looking too shabby. It's gonna brown off the beef, get the onions nice and brown, and then throw the sauce in, and then the pasta in to warm the pasta up. Oh, ripper! Some garlic herb in there. Oh, we've got to keep the fucking sand out of this now. Because this just needs to simmer for a while. Yeah. Hold up, bros, hold up. We ain't finished yet, bro. Hey, bro. All right, so hold up, hold up. That is what you cook up when you're fishing with the boys. Just keep the sand out. Go over the top, bros. It's on the low. All right, lift it up for us for a second. bottom because Rusty couldn't stir it and we just the guys next to us called a bloody smoothie but this oh fuck that's oh, oh that's burning me spaghetti bolognese without the spaghetti and just pasta Do a dash of salad cream. Shame. Spaghetti bolognese, and the pasta, tomato, extra sand, no seasoning, should taste great. One up a thing. Absolute ripper. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Now let's catch a molly. Uh, it's the same shovel nose from earlier on, isn't it? Yeah, that's a shovel nose, not a skate. That ain't legal. Yeah, flip him over and get back in. Yeah, that Benny might. The 30. Ah, yeah, don't worry about that, Benny. Let's get it back. Good fish karma. Come on. Yeah, yeah bro. That's that be your first shovel nose shark, eh? That is actually a shovel nose shark. That's not a banjo. They get like six foot, mate. It is going. Lovely. He's kicking. Dear pal. Little shovel nose. We caught that one this time. Sunny. Where's my ass? You! Now catch us a mile away. Hurry up. Come on. Chop, chop. That's it. Sorry. All we thought my pile was sorted out. Might be a little bit too much, but fires ain't the easiest to do in the wind and stuff. Yeah. 
it's died down to about, I reckon, 25. It's sitting on a, a consistent 20 to 25. <laughs> Gusts of. <laughs> but yeah. It's all fun and games. We've got a banjo, two banjos, cut the salmon trout. Three ban no, that's not a banjo, that was a shovel nose and a shovel nose. And Benny caught a shovel nose off somebody else's line, which we're counting that. But yeah, that sun is 20 minutes off, 18 minutes off to be precise. And yeah, we're gonna get the glow sticks on. And yeah, yeah, hopefully this wind dies off and we can really start fishing. Come on, let's go. Yeah, what's he doing? All right, legends. What's going on, legends? I'm going to put my 5,000 on the beach rod. Stratic on the beach rod and cast out and try and get something big on the 5,000. So, yeah, he's going to um, put a small wheel on a big rod. Small, big, big wheel. That's it. Look at that sunset. Ripper. The sun rises, tide changes. Bait's been smashed. Come on. Come on. Morning, legends. It's a beautiful morning, too. Absolute ripper morning. I cast it out this morning at like five o'clock, maybe as the sun was coming up. And I just sat and watched my rod from bed. Beautiful. But yeah, comms officially over. We didn't get a fish. It's not, not ideal. But while we fish for the next couple of hours, I know you're gonna froth over it. I'm gonna put some old footage into this video. Everyone loves a good mully catch. So yeah, this is me last year. Just up there. Catching over a meter e. Check this out. Keep the skills going. 
Just fight, he'll come up. He'll... Yeah, he'll come back, he'll come back. Go, go, go. Yo, <laughs> you unicorn! That's done. We've packed up the rods, packed up all the gear, and uh, yeah, cleaned everything. We don't know how we're going to fit everything on the roof, but yeah, we have done. So yeah, not really a successful comp, unfortunately. I'll be back down here in a few weeks' time, though, when there's less people fishing here, and uh, yeah, see if we can pull a fish. And then I've got dog fence, one more trip, and then uh, Fraser Island, and a few bits and pieces in between. So uh, yeah, massive shout out to everyone who stopped in today. I am by the entrance, so a few people have come through and said they watch my channel and love it, froth over it. It's, yeah, absolute, yeah, blows me away. Some of you guys real supporting me. Yeah, but you know the score. Like, subscribe, keep the beaches clean, and shout for now. Yeah.